Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David, will the well digger be there when we get to the house? He should be. Paradiso made this appointment with him at 10 o'clock. Well, it's almost that now. I hope he'll have decided just where he's going to dig this well. They're always dug in the ground, aren't they? Yes, always. Well, then what's the problem? The problem is where he's likely to find the best spot to dig. Lots of things are involved in that. For instance? Well, we don't want the well too far from the house or too close to it. The well digger will have to decide where he thinks the water is nearest the surface. Yet we don't Oh, want... I don't want to hear another word. It sounds impossible. Uh, in a minute now, we'll be coming to the house. I know that, too. I'm getting so that I know every inch of this road. See, right, right around that bend, there'll be two trees on the left. And a small white fence on the right. And then where the road bends like an elbow and drops a little like a nest. There's our house. Funny, but when I come up to see it, I have a sort of a feeling that it's been, been sitting there just waiting for us. And still, every time I'm surprised that it's there. <laughs> that's the feeling I had when I first saw it. That's how I knew you'd feel, too. And that's how I know you love me. Because I, you thought I'd feel that way. And you did. Well, I do now. Whatever that means. Well, there are the two trees on the left. And the white fence on the right. And the bend in the road. There she is. David, she's looking a lot better, isn't she? The patient is improving every day. Paradiso's doing a beautiful job with it. Modest. David, am I going to like seeing our well being dug? I hope so. It all depends on how much it has to be dug. It's pretty important and expensive for us, darling. I know. I certainly hope Jared Tucker doesn't come around today. Why, any special reason? We'll have enough trouble without adding him to it. Well, congratulations, Claudia. Me? Why? The well digger hath come. <laughs> you sure? How do you know? I think I can hear his engine. I don't see any car around. I wonder where he set it up. Hmm. It's far away. It sounds as if it's coming from behind the house. Oh, I hear something now. Those chug, 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 chug. Hey, David, wait for me. Hey, careful. You don't slip on that little snow on the ground. Funny how much longer it lasts here than in New York. Yep, there he is. Hello there. Who's calling? Uh, me, uh, David Norton. Hello, and me, Claudia Norton. I see you're all set up. David, what's that big machine? The well digger. The what? The well digger. I, the well digger? I, I, I thought he was a man. Darling, this is the 20th century. We're not the first settlers in New, in New England. Hello. I'm Pringle. Hello, Mrs. Pringle, well digger. So this is the spot. And Paradiso said not too far from the house... The hidden spot seems to think wells nice or. Uh-huh. How's the ground seem? Can't say. Just started digging. Gone far down? Just started, I said. Forty feet. Forty feet? Well, that's miles. You won't hit China at forty feet, ma'am. I should hope not. What have you found, Mr. Pringle? Ain't found gold, Mr. Pringle. Oh, Norton. I don't think Mr. Norton was expecting to find Shh. gold. Like that, darling. Uh, how's the ground? Hard from snow. I see. Any more questions? Claudia. Any questions? I just would uh, like no to... No questions, Mr. Pringle. Go go right ahead and dig. I uh, want to tell you something first, Mr. Norton. I guess you city folks don't know how hard it is to come by water sometimes. I'm so used to turning a spigot. Faucet. Uh, turning a spigot, letting it flow, isn't easy finding water. Paradiso told me that in these parts there are a good many natural springs about 55 feet down. Is and isn't. Some yes, some no. Where there's water, there it is, and where there isn't... There it isn't. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, David? We may have to dig down 120 feet. A hundred and... Why, I I wouldn't dream of drinking water that comes in so deep. 
How do I know what it's been in? Then again, might find it at 41 feet. Now, that would be a blessing indeed. But it might not be good water at 41 feet. Might not. I think 41 feet is perfect for good water. Might be tapping your neighbor's water. That's against the law. Well, how can water we found on our land be our neighbor's water? David, I asked. We might have dug in on his spring, so when our water supplies go up, his supplies might go down. Well, it works vice versa. So maybe he's on our water. Uh, don't work anyway. It's against the law. You've got to find your own water. Well, let's start digging. You can't start, Mr. Norton. I'd settle one thing. Of course, anything you want. How much this is going to cost you? Well, you settle all that with Paradiso. He's my contractor. It's uh, part of the estimate. Yeah, can't settle it with Paradiso. You can't. That's just what I got to settle with you. Well, anything you say, Mister Pringle. How much do you think that? I cost... don't think, because you don't know. Impossible to know. And I'm afraid that I don't quite understand. Can't what... give you an estimate. Don't know how deep I got to dig. That's reasonable. If it's sand, digs easy. Dig deep, very easy. Well, then I hope it's sand. But if it's sand, you've got to give you a steel casing. It costs money. Yes, I know. If it's rock, the is found high. Not much digging to do. Uh, sometime. Then I hope it's rock. Could be deep and rock, too. Even if it is shallow, digging rock's hard. It takes longer. Instrument's different. David, what should I hope for? Just hope for action, darling. And water. No matter where it is. Yeah, it's all settled, then. You can't have an estimate. It's all settled, Mr. Pringle. Do you uh, shake hands on it? Right. I'd like to do business, business-like. Well, are we ready to start digging? Nothing to stop us now but the elements. Cross your fingers, darling. Oh, David, I feel as if I were going to the dentist and we were about to start drilling this there. This is a pretty big molar. And a pretty big drill. You stand back there. I'm about to set her again. Come on, darling. Let's go stand over here. Hey! Hey, over there. What's going on? David, do you see what I see? And I hear who you hear, too. What's that there big truck doing on my property? Oh, hello there, Mr. Tucker. Mighty good to see you. Looks like Aloysius Pringle's here. What's he doing here? Have you allowed him to come? Hello, Mr. Tucker. Uh, My, you're looking well today. Living with Delilah seems to agree with you. Don't agree with me none at all. Don't try to shilly shout me around. I know you got that water digging no good Aloysius Pringle here. That's there. It's his truck, and he's come here to put his machinery around here. Rowing in the property with modern contraptions for stealing water out of the ground. That's but, doing. Mr. Tucker, it's very important to us that he digs this. There he goes, Jackie, turning things up. I thought part of the reason you bought this place was that there was a gravity spring onto it. And you wanted the brook, too, so I let you have it. That's plenty of water for clean folks, seems to me. Mr. Tucker, maybe it's that oh, we... Oh, there ain't no maybes about it. Been enough water out of that spring and brook for centuries. And nobody drank more water than my own mother. Nobody. God rest her soul, never touched a drop of anything else. Good woman she was, too, and for washing and cleaning and cooking, too, there was always plenty. Running right into the house as modern as can be. But, uh, Mr. Tucker, we're enlarging the house, so naturally we'll need more water for more baths. Well, baths was always took around here. I don't like your insinuating they wasn't. Of course, Mr. Tucker, we didn't mean to insinuate. You young folks need somebody to look after you. Just cause other city folks start digging right off and... Aloysius Pringle thinks you're city folks. Ain't no reason for you to be talking in like that. Well, he seems very honest. Did, uh, did he wait for you to start digging? No, as a matter of fact, no. He'd started before we got here. But I appreciate it. I uh, know you changed your mind. Uh, that's the way it goes. I ain't blaming the two of you. No, you're, you're just young ones. But this here craze for digging up water is one of the diseases of what folks think is civilization. There's, 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 there's such a thing as too much mollycoddling. And there's such a thing as, as, as too, too, too much mollycoddling. The sooner you learn it, uh, say, you think Pringle will be able to find water for you with that, uh, that infernal machine of his? Well, this is a pretty good area for water, he says. Yeah, uh, wouldn't be too sure. Things of a way it turn out worse than you expect. Oh, don't I know it. Well, son, why don't you go ask him how he's digging? I know that's what you got a hankering for. Yes, I... I guess I will. I'll come with you, David. Darling, my fingers are still crossed. Mr. Pringle? Mr. Pringle? How are we doing? Solid rock. Going through solid rock. Is that good? It all depends. Oh, just the sound of that machine makes all my teeth hurt. Can't be good. It's good if we don't have to go too deep. Digging up the land, plenty of water in the ocean where folks don't touch it. Oh, Pringle. Oh, oh, it's you, Tucker. 
Grace finally getting the water needs. She would have told you, son. You got to watch out. He'd talk a cactus into digging for a spring water. Mr. Pringle, uh, how much longer do you think it's going... Wait, wait a minute there. Listen. I don't hear anything. Go take a look. David, I never knew I wanted to see water so much. Say, where's he going? I don't know, but if... Okay, turned her off. I hope everything's all right. Mr. Norton, step over here. David, I'm coming too. Got something to show you. This can't be good, darling. It just can't be. I've got that feeling too. What's this, you see? Why, it's... It's... It's water. Where did he come from? Bubbling right up to... Bubbling right out of the ground. Is that good? You mean it... It's artesian water? Looks like it. <laughs> Forty-two feet deep. Well, I'll be... Why doesn't anybody tell me? Is it good? Good? It's fantastic. Taint your neighbor's water. Taint surface water. Taint a pool that'll run dry. It's gushing like oil. I feel it, Claudia. Feel it. It's icy. And clear and clean as crystal, David. It's beautiful. Yeah, water run for you longer than you know about. Good, clean through rock. He found a cellar. Well, let me taste some of this here water. Can't be so good being dug up like that. Gonna taste all full of earth and brackish and things. Go right? on, Tucker. Have a taste. I'll just take myself on it. Now, be careful, Mr. Tucker. Don't take too much. Yep. Yeah. Well, what do you know? Yep. Well, Mr. Tucker? Well, tastes all right. Tastes fine. Best water I ever tasted. Wouldn't think it was possible after it being under the ground all that time. Say... Would you mind if I took a jug home to Delilah, would you? This broadcast of... Hey, uh, wait a moment there, young man. Oh, Mr. Pringle. How glad to meet you, sir. (laughs) Nice young couple, Nortons. Yeah, saved them a lot of money, water bubbling up like that. Money's kind of close these days. When was income tax coming? Income tax isn't coming, Mr. Pringle. It's here. <laughs> See, that's right. Yes, the Nortons will be having to figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> I wish him luck. It ain't no easy job. Glad there wells behind him. <laughs> Guess I better hustle and start making an income so I can pay my own tax. <laughs> so long. So long, Mr. Pringle. And while you're figuring your income tax... Think of David and Claudia, because that's what they'll be doing tomorrow, too. And with Claudia, I have an idea that income tax can be fun. And as I was saying, this broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. When you're doing the marketing and everything seems to cost more, you stop to refresh yourself at a Coke cooler and you reflect with pleasure, here's one thing that hasn't changed. Coca-Cola is the same delicious, refreshing drink in the same size bottle, and it's still only five cents. Order a carton or a case. At a nickel a bottle, this is a treat you can well afford to share. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and reminding you, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola, for ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause. The pause that refreshes. <laughs>